Greetings, fellow homesteaders, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Necess. Episode 3, Building a Farm. So now we are sort of moving away from um, this initial setup here. So what I want to do is I'm going to move all of this into the drop boxes up there and then make uh, Arcane Fennec basically sort it all. And then these boxes here, I can either clear it, or actually I think realistically just remove them. I won't be using storage in there anymore. Because pawn brokers buy just about everything, and let's set up uh, two more drop boxes so that there's ample room. Everything can be bought, more or less, so there's not really any point of, like, burning things. There is an incinerator which allows you to burn items if you don't want them, but I usually just store it and then sell it to a pawnbroker when I get visited by a pawnbroker or when I recruit a pawnbroker. Alright. Next project here is going to be settlement building. What should I build? I could build a bedroom or two bedrooms, a farm and um, orchard, or yeah, I'll uh, so between those two options, it will be a flashbulb of only one minute. So if I built bedrooms, I would be setting up bedrooms for. Uh, for Arcane Fennec and any future villagers to be able to sleep, you know, um, in their own dedicated bedrooms that are kind of nicer. Trying to keep them happy. Or I can set up a, uh, a farm and orchard. Uh, one thing I will say is, um, farming, I would say, is, like, really important in the game. Because your NPCs can come on adventures with you and help fight when you're out and they will burn through healing potions like you would not believe so if you aren't um if you aren't making the reagents for healing potions your npcs are going to get smoked when they're coming to help you but having a giant army of npcs help you fight bosses and stuff like that is insanely useful so Farming for the reagents for like healing and other things like that is uh, very very handy but It looks like we're gonna do bedrooms at first. That's cool All right, let's get that going and you can see arcane fennec is uh, picking up items and sorting them I'm not exactly sure where the walls are yet I found some There we go Here's some stone and the reason I, I wanted to do two bedrooms is so that we have capacity to add, like, other people. So, I am going to build these bedrooms. Here. So, let's see. I'll do a 7 by 9 So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a. Uh, this is going to be a full morale bonus room. It's like large enough that they'll be really happy with it. In other words, any larger is diminishing returns. So this is like the the size you need to make them happy. They're also happy with a variety of furniture as well. It's worth noting. Um, but this will probably be enough to keep him happy enough that he's just going to be working without too many breaks. Raising the quality of the food that we uh, we offer is another uh, easy way to do it as well. 
They also like to have illumination in their rooms. Let's put that in. And then... Let's make another spruce bed. So for that, I need a little bit more wool. I know I have the original bed, but uh, I plan on making two bedrooms here, so I might as well just get the wool needed for the second bedroom. Um, we could also check uh, what we can buy and sell off of them, too. So, we can buy arrows, a bow, and ninja stars, and we can sell him wool and leather. Uh, let's see here. There is... No forest village near me? Alright. I was planning on going to a forest village and just, like, killing their sheep. Now, I could find forest villages by using my map fragments. Combining the map fragments into village maps. So I'll make a village map and try to find a forest village. So there, that's a desert village. I'll do another one. And map fragments are just dropped by mobs. Uh, yeah, Alright, we have a forest village to the north. It's kind of far. Um, this time around, I'm going to use the travel scroll. So travel scroll kind of lets you, like, um, teleport, I guess. And I use the travel scroll to travel uh, adjacent to the forest village. And I'm just grabbing some sunflowers here while I'm up. Maybe stealing the queen bee out of that hive. This is a really tiny island. Not much here. Now, if you're wondering, uh, I could descend, I could build a ladder and go into the cave systems here, and it would be just like the forest caves that I started on. Um, so even though it's a tiny island, it's underground is just as big as uh, my starting tile. And once you get out to the map edge, we'll be able to get to that forest village. There is uh, uh, other ways to fast travel introduced later on in the game. I don't want to spoil anything ahead of time, but um, scrolls are not the only way. Wow. Okay. So we are in a plentiful sheep situation here. I'm a glutton for mutton. Here's the village. So there's a farmer here. Let's see what the farmer wants in order to join. Sunflowers, fertilizer, and coin. Sometimes they're cheaper than that, especially the ones... I, I typically find the ones that uh, come and visit you tend to be a lot less expensive than the ones you go out and find. So if you have like a, a, a farmer that comes to visit your village, uh, they will join a lot easier than ones that you find uh, elsewhere. Oh, uh, speaking of which, we just got fertilizer off of uh, that box. And uh, I am going to liberate some of the seeds here because I am shameless. Wheat and chili peppers. So one thing I would say is the meals, the food that you can eat, will provide you specific benefits. It's really helpful to find uh, a food type that you really like its bonuses and just like get the hell out of a lot of it. Just farm the hell out of it so that you can have tons of it. Also, ice blossoms are really important to have in mass. Um, not as important as, um, as uh, sunflowers. I would say like 80% of the things you plant should probably be sunflowers, and then the other 20% should be, like, for food and then also ice blossoms. The reason ice blossoms are useful is ice blossoms can be used as, like, crude refrigeration to make things not spoil as fast, which is why they're nice to have. I know there's more seeds here. Uh, I'm just going to pass them over. Having, like, looted this town full of its goods. 
Now, it would also be pretty handy to hire a guard. So you can see here's the cost for guards, which is health potions and speed potions. Uh, it's possible that I actually have the speed potions at home. I'm not sure. Wow, I just looted a whole lot of wool. That's awesome. But working, I would say working towards hiring NPCs that we want would be a pretty good goal at this point. So that we can have a roster to rely upon when uh, things get uh, violent. Let's call it. Hey, Tanji, thank you for, uh, for resubbing. All right, let's get back home using the recall scroll. Having abused that town of its resources. I think oak beds sound better than spruce beds. I like oak. And what I'll do is, uh, Settler, you sleep here. There we go. I'm going to need more path blocks, but let's get the other bedroom up. And then I'll have you guys decide on the priority after this. So if you want me to set up a farm, vote for settlement building. If you want me to do something else, feel free to vote for something else. It is up to you. So this second bedroom here is not going to be for the guide. It's going to be for the next NPC that I uh, add to our roster. I'll keep the bed. As you can see, my drop boxes, except for what I just put away, are all sorted. Oh, uh, that never got items in it. So, our buddy here uh, was really busy today and sorted everything that we own into its, uh, into its proper spots. Freaking awesome, right? Like, 1010 10 NPC right there. Okay, uh, what did I need? I needed more floor tile. Done. So now we have capacity for another NPC when we uh, when we find one. Perfect. You guys want me to continue settlement building? So I'm going to set up farm, forestry, and orchard. So one of the easiest things to do is let's grab the blueberry bushes. And I'm just going to blueberry bushes, unlike trees, can be adjacent to one another. I'm just going to be like decorating my uh, my buildings with uh, blueberry bushes. So for forestry, the way forestry works is you can designate a specific area to be automatically forested. So once you're in your settlement, you can go to assign work, 
forestry zone. And then you can just say, hey, cut all the trees down in this location and replant them. Um, trees have to, trees can't be on top of one another. They have to have one tile around them to be able to grow. And uh, when your NPCs forest, they will cut down the tree and then replant that same tree in its spot, allowing you to basically have really rapidly renewable source of, um, of timber when you have a lot of people doing forestry tasks. Um, the other thing that I want to do is to set up, uh, at least for now, set up like sunflowers. That would be absolutely the most important. So what I want to do is prioritize that first before the orchard and the forestry. Sunflowers. Th so the way to make healing potions is you take any stone and you can process it into sand. And then you put the sand into a forge. And uh, that will turn it into glass bottles. And a healing potion is just sunflowers plus glass bottles. And you're, you're going to want tons and tons and tons of those. So farming for like the more sunflowers you can get, the better. Bigger potions use regular healing potions and then another reagent, uh, which I've yet to find, so I won't mention it um, in order to make the nicer, um, bigger healing potions. But uh, but that comes later. So for now, it's just like fields and fields and fields of sunflowers. And I'm cutting down trees because um, sunflowers, or they all require farming plots. Uh, it might be useful in this instance to also make an anvil. I'm going to plop down an anvil uh, here. And then to... Really? I don't have iron bars? Oh, you know what? It might be too far. From where the anvil stored. Put that anvil there. Okay. Then we'll do... No, I will cop for a gold pick. And an iron axe. That should speed things up a little. So initially, this will have a lot of manual labor, but once I have a well-established forestry zone, my NPCs will be able to provide a lot of the wood needed to make a larger farm. I also had some enchanting scrolls, which make uh, tools better. A gold pick is like a relatively good tool to have, so I'm going to improve my gold pick too. And, uh, and my axe. So that would be in the scripts. And that would be... Oh, let's uh, enchant our armor that had a bad thing too. So for the pick, I'm going to give it a blessing for 10% tool damage and mining speed. And then the axe, I will do 10% tool damage. And then the armor that has minus armor on it, I'll put crit chance on that. So now our armor jumped up four points. Much nicer. So with all the wood that I got, I have 40 farmland plots. And I was not kidding about how important it is to just grow a ridiculous amount of sunflowers, so... I'm also going to relocate the sunflower plot that we have down here, so that travel time between bedrooms and storage and all that are shortened. Uh, for that, I actually need a shovel, too, to be able to dig up these plots. Technically, you can go to the other villages and, like, dig up their plots, too. Um, I just don't do that. Like, you could. I'm just not my jam to loot them that badly. So now we're in seeds. I have uh, 30 sunflower seeds. We'll get these established. And you get more seeds than you get uh, than a cost to replant. So it will be a net positive. So that's our sunflower plot. 
Uh, let's do a copper shovel. I need a little bit more wood for that. So a shovel can detile things, digging up anything that is uh, pathable tiles, like farm plots or flooring or even grass, if I wanted to remove the grass. So that's established. Then I'm going to start building uh, other farms. So I don't have a lot of other plots, but I would like to plant the ice blossoms up here. I'll spend a little bit of time cutting down a few more. And then I, another thing that I could do if uh, if our hunter is, is done organizing and sorting is to set up just a basic uh, forestry zone. So essentially just telling him to cut down any trees that are in that zone. And then if I go to the work priorities, forestry will be his second priority and not farming for now. Oh, nice. So nice that it's just auto sorted. I should also lock my um, healing potions in so we don't uh, put those away. He is selling binoculars, rope, maps, brain on a stick, which is a summoning thing, and and hula stuff. I'd buy it as like a as a Hawaiian, but like I don't really want hula, hula stuff. I'm fine looking the way I look. So just cutting down some additional trees. The other thing that's uh, useful about cutting down trees is, um, so minor spoiler, I'm gonna turn blue for the duration of the spoiler and I'll put the blue light off when the spoiler's done. Um, the initial boss that you fight is a boss that you probably will end up farming. And having a really open area is very handy to fighting bosses just in general. So clearing out a large area on the surface um, near your start, near your settlement, is just very handy to do. With that said, I just need a lot of wood to start the farm out, so. All right. So the Ice Blossom plot here, let's do maybe like a 25 of them. It's probably more than we need, to be honest. I'll do 20. Now, I don't really know what types of food I want to, like, mass produce, so... I know wheat is pretty important. I'm going to put a 20 plot of wheat down uh, on the other end of this, but I'll start corn up here. I have a lot of wheat seeds. I know my neck is transparent. It's from all the bright green of the grass here on this map tile. green screening green screening my neck out if I if I had a, a handkerchief or a scarf or something I could fix that but it doesn't matter to me like we'll stop being that if I open up enough uh, a map or something where less of my screen is green or go into the ocean that would work I probably won't set up the uh, forestry zone this time around. And just like, if you want me to set up forestry, I'll just let you vote on it. So I don't want to do, dedicate too much time. 
to this. It's one of those you can lose a lot of time this way. Also, the manual acquisition of uh, wood, once you have like, let's say, a few villagers that are relatively idle where you're not dropping them a whole bunch of things to sort, uh, if you have a large enough forester zone, you can get a lot of wood automatically through your settlers. So wheat's a little unique in that if you want to do animal husbandry, well, it's unique in that a lot of the advanced recipes require wheat for food, for, you know, it's bread or whatever. Um, so having multiple wheat fields is probably going to be nice to have as well. But I'll just start with that for now. So let's plant tomatoes and chili peppers. Oh, and I have a lot more sunflower seeds. I missed that. So I'm going to get as many sunflower seeds down as I can. Did he cut down any trees for me? One? Uh, so not really. <laughs> He's not been foresting, and that's okay. My character is also pretty hungry, so let's go over to the food storage and grab 16 steaks. So that I don't go overboard, I'll just start some initial farms with the new crops and then uh, pull about a next priority. It's really easy to just do a ton of this and then be like, oh my god, where'd all the time go? I was like how on the minimap, um, the crops are like color coded. I find that neat. Not a lot of games do that, but I, I appreciate when they do. Some corn and tomatoes. Chili peppers and what do we want to put in that last one? Harmony? Eh, whatever. That'll work. Right next to the chili peppers. Extra spice. I don't have any glass bottles, but I do have a lot of stone, so I'm going to start making glass bottles for potions. Out of stone. That's as far as I'm going to go. Looks like you guys want me to quest. Uh, I would like to work towards um, killing the evil protector, the first boss. So that's what I'm going to work towards. So the current priority is to recruit more settlers so I can kill the first boss easily.
So I think uh, to that end, what makes the most sense is to head to local villages and try to figure out the cost to recruit some guards. I like guards. Um, I believe guards are going to ask for... They're going to ask for healing potions. So it's also going to be really useful for me to have like a, a decent amount of healing potions. And then they usually ask for like battle potions and other things like that. So I'm going to want to acquire the resources that they ask for uh, prior to arrival. Because to avoid having to travel back. So getting something in the order of maybe like 25 more healing potions and hiring a guard or two and then out, uh, equipping the guards with like decent enough equipment that they can actually be a benefit to me during the boss fight uh, will be sort of the goal. Because I don't have a formal forestry zone, I'm just going to tell my my settlers to just forest everything, cut down every tree around and replant. Not gonna be too selective about where. If you're wondering why I haven't set a fertilization zone, only farmers can fertil fertilize soils. So like, I don't have any farmers at the moment, which is why I haven't bothered with that. I could, however, uh, get a a composter going. And let's get a cooking pot, too. And a campfire. Where is compost? Here's incinerator. Compost. So composting is relatively simple. Just you put fruit in, it composts it. So I'm putting the bear, the blueberries in because I'm going to get a ton of blueberries. It also works on spoiled food. So it's like fruit and spoiled food for the most part. Um, okay. I also want to build a cooking pot because that will open up some uh, cooking opportunities. So you can see these seedlings up here. That's uh, a, a direct result of some initial forestry from Arkane Fennec, our only settler that does work. Chief Dog, thank you for the resub, by the way. Hey, a blacksmith is arriving at town. Not what I wanted, but you know. Need a little bit more stone for that. Another thing we could do is to move the uh, the ladder. I don't need to come down here to this ladder. You can put a ladder anywhere. And ladders are actually very cheap to manufacture. It's only 10 wood. So we can just... I'll get rid of this ladder and replace it. But we could always just make a new one. Two. And in this instance, I'm going to put the ladder smack dab in the middle of this room. Because you can walk over it. So we just wanted a little bit more stone. We'll get some stone. The campfire. Uh, this campfire might be physically too far from the chests there, but as you can see, these mostly need like, I mean, there's popcorn, but they, they mostly need uh, advanced reagents like sugar or bread, flour, that kind of thing in order to make these, but they're really nice benefits. So for instance, meatballs is going to be a better food and it's quality gourmet, uh, which keeps people happier. So there's gourmet quality, fine quality, and simple quality. And the higher quality foods that you provide, the happier settlers are. And then of course, they have higher stat bonuses um, when you consume them as a player.
All right, we got a lot of glass bottles, so boom. I now have 53 health potions. That's going to be a pretty good start. Blacksmith, what's up? I don't want you. Sorry, bud. Uh, all right, let's go and visit the snow village and the desert village to figure out the recruitment needs for guards. I would like two guardsmen. Um, it also means that I'm probably gonna need another bedroom because I only have one bedroom, but, uh, but yeah. So I'm gonna take with me speed potions, health regen potions, um, yeah, because the guardsmen might ask for that stuff when being recruited. Oops, I brought saplings with me. Eh, whatever. It's not like I need the inventory space where I'm headed. Thank you for tuning in to Nessess, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 9th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow viewers.